Mr. Stephen Weigespank is the president and CEO of Louisiana Association for Business and Industry and one of the greatest guests of all time. Hey, Mr. Stephen, welcome back to Keel. How are you doing today? Hey, good morning, guys. What's going on? Well, I'm going to let Erin tell the story about, uh, give you a little background, and then tell the story about her friend, because this is a conversation you and I have had previously, right. and it has to do with minimum wage and specifically the raising of said minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Ms. Cong McCarty. Congress working on a plan to bump it up to $15 an hour. So I have a good friend who owns a small ice cream business, okay? And she typically hires teenagers for the most part, young college kids. She doesn't pay a minimum wage, you know, a little bit above minimum wage. And I asked her the other day, I said, what happens with your business if minimum wage goes to $15 an hour? I said, do you, f how many people do you fire? How much do you raise your prices? She looked at me like I was a space alien. <laughs> and she said, I close my business. She said, I, there's no way I could afford to nearly double my wages and raise my prices enough on my product that I would still be viable in the marketplace. Um, was I a space alien? Is she right? Well, here's your problem, Aaron. You were talking to someone in the real world when you were trying to make a policy decision. And people in Baton Rouge and Washington don't do that anymore. Don't you know that? I mean, come on, real world people don't have the, the say on this. I mean, of course, I mean, I, I'm making light of it because you're right. I mean, if you talk to people on the front lines, on Main Street, the ones who actually have the mortgage and the pressure of payroll and the pressure of meeting customer demand and shifting and changing every single day just to keep the doors open, if you talk to people like that who are actually grinding it out in the, in the modern economy, they will tell you this is a not just a ridiculous idea, but a, one of the worst things you can do to our economy. And yet it literally it's is like a, a gut punch. And it just it comes in over and over and over because the politicians view it as a great talking point. They could care less about the impact on the street. I started to say, and yet it's an idea that just doesn't go away, specifically in the mind of Governor John Bell Edwards, who is is, to the best of my recollection, adamantly in favor of raising the state minimum wage here in Louisiana to that fifteen dollar an hour amount. Right. Yeah, he is, and he's adamantly in favor of telling everyone who supports it. But the reality is he rolls it out every year. He doesn't do a thing in the Capitol to help sell it, and it dies in the first committee, and he goes tell his base he tried his best. Oh, well, it's not his fault. So, I mean, it's really – it's become a press release soundbite exercise that all it does is scare the death out of every small business in the state. And it's just it, – it's got to stop. I mean, if you want to raise wages, which I think everyone does, count me in that camp, you do it by growing the economy. You do it by bringing in new investment. You do it by training the workforce to come in and compete for better jobs and demand more pay. That's what you do the right way. Instead, it's just become a cheap political trick for a lot of politicians to roll out what they say they really want, watch it die in committee, and tell their base they tried their best. When in fact, they didn't try to do anything but put together a press release. And they all talk about a livable wage, that 725 is not a livable wage. So you you don't care about people, Stephen. You don't want people to earn a livable wage. What is wrong with you? And, and look, that's what is, is driving me crazy, that when you talk about sound economic policies, it's no longer a debate about ideas that, you know, the hard left immediately goes to, well, you must be a mean person. You may not, must not like people. You know, you must want people to hurt. I mean, that's, the, that's, the, that's ridiculous. I mean, have you met a small business owner lately? These are the people that are grinding it out, working hard to keep their business afloat, those are the people that you want to help. That, that is a compassionate thing to do, to help that small business owner keep their doors open, not just for their own benefit, but also the workers that they employ. I mean, if you put that small business out of business, how in the heck are you helping the workers that right now they're employing, that they're helping you know, provide insurance for? So, I mean, do we want to increase wages across Louisiana? Absolutely. You do that by growing the economy. I mean, I, I would take a, a little bit broader step of this. If, if folks watched a couple of weeks ago, you had the Democratic presidential debate, and you had 20 different candidates take their turns going on the stage. And, I mean, one question after another, it was just trampling on, on market-based ideas. It was, you, you are a mean person unless you want to give away free tuition, free mortgages, free health care. You are a mean person if you want to enforce immigration laws, if you want to make people play by rules. You are a mean person if you oppose a $15 minimum wage. All of this 
this this quick reaction to put morality based judgments on people who are just trying to make smart decisions that improve the economy for everyone. That this rhetoric's got to stop, and we get we got to get back to a rational policy discussion because the policies are pretty clear on this stuff. Congressional Budget Office says a fifteen dollar minimum wage would cost our country one point three million jobs. I think that's low. After talking to my friend, I think that might be low. You agree? Well, that same report said that was their their floor on that number. That same report said that it was hard for them to gauge it. That was the minimum number of jobs lost, and it could be up to triple that. And so, yeah, it is hard to decide how an economy is going to react when government starts throwing arbitrary mandates into it. It's always hard to decide. But we know one thing. It's not going to respond well. And the people that are going to get hurt the most or the, the workers that the, these uh, these advocates say they're trying to help and the small businesses who employ them. Those are the ones who are getting hammered the most.